everyone is Yasmin Well, and welcome back to my channel. So I have some Lindsay news. Now, if you all don't know, Lindsay is from uh, Kale Laurie's uh, podcast. They, they work together. She is the co-host on Kale Laurie's uh, Coffee Convos podcast. Now, there has been some drama in regards to um, Lindsay and her family. So let's hop right into all of this. All right. So once again, I stated that Kale has this po podcast and it's called Coffee Convos. If y'all don't know, Kale is from Team Mom and stuff like that. We've talked about her on my channel before. And Kale um, has this co-host and her name is Lindsay. And they have been doing Coffee Convos for quite some time. Um, for, you know, for a lot of years. It's been pretty successful to my knowledge. And I think it's super dope that they have a podcast because that's something that I aspire to do now. With all of that aside... Kale recently spoke out on a situation that Lindsay was going through with her family. So there has been a lot of family drama and there's a lot of tea to spill. So listen up to what I'm about to tell you all because it can get a little confusing. So this guy in this picture here, his name is Todd and Todd is Lindsay's father. So if you all don't know, there has been like a TV show called like Christy Knows Best. There has been so many like different things and that's pretty that's uh Lindsay's family that's like her her family her mom her dad like stuff like that so her family has been in the entertainment industry for uh quite some time now in regards to her uh mom Julie and her father Todd they were recently indicted on multiple federal charges including tax evasion bank fraud wire fraud and conspiracy now they pled not guilty in court and they denied any wrongdoing in their entire case so this is definitely ongoing in regards to her her parents her mom and her dad now here's a picture of her, ent her entire family so that's julie um in the red and then that's todd obviously in the blue uh, jacket and that's like the rest of the family now what i can say about the situation that is super sad and this family does not appear to be tight knit whatsoever and Lindsay has explained that she has pretty much you know ostracized herself and separated herself from her family due to all this drama now according to a lot of sources including tmz according to todd which is Lindsay's father he suspects that Lindsay is the person that was the unknown source that ratted out him and Julie to the police. Now, there's nothing confirming that. Lindsay has spoken out and said that it wasn't her, it had nothing to do with her. However, her parents truly believe that it was her that did it. So, in regards to this entire situation, it says that Todd denies extorting his daughter over a sex video with a guy from The Bachelor. Uh, the bachelor show so if you guys don't know there's like a show called the bachelor and it's pretty much a bunch of women fighting for a man's love so it's it's a reality television show obviously if you haven't heard of this it's kind of like i don't know like love island or something like that but just a little bit more upscale you know the hills type vibe so i guess she had had some sort of extramarital affair with someone and had a sex tape and her father claimed that he will release that sex tape because he feels that she is the reason why you know police found out that him and his wife was doing some sort of wire fraud and stuff like that now along with the father her brother also said that he will release the tape because they think that she is the one that ratted them out now mind you they are all family and this is so sad so Todd says that he does not you know want to extort his daughter he denies all these claims saying like hey I never said I was going to extort her I never said I was going to blackmail her with the video I never said any of that in x y and z and so has the brother so I think this entire situation just shows that it doesn't even really matter if you're family or not so since Lindsay is the co-host to coffee convos with kale i guess kale took it upon herself to you know let fans know and people like that that follow them what's going on and to you know not be alarmed so she did speak out on social media and she posted this to her twitter and i will go ahead and read that for you so she stated i have been contacted by various media outlets regarding the case against the christie family Lindsay is my one and only concern in this unfortunate situation and I am supporting her privately as she navigates through this difficult 
time. So Carol Laurie posted that to her uh, Twitter account. Now Janelle Evans, as we know, is super petty. So once Janelle seen that on uh, Twitter in regards to, you know, Kale speaking out on this situation, she decided to go ahead and throw a little bit of shade, all right? So she was she started to throw shade at Kale. Now she did this by commenting under uh, Kale's uh, tw tweet and said, oh, how supportive are you, you know? So she actually inserted like articles that Kale had actually shared of the Christie family drama. Now, I know a lot of people on Twitter also drug Kale in regards to this too. Now, a lot of people did comment under that thread and was just like, wait a minute, how are you saying you're supporting your friend Lindsay when you were just sharing all these rumored articles in regards to what's going on with her family. So once again, hashtag Petty Betty, Miss Janelle Evans had to go and just start this stuff. So, but however, even though she's starting this, everyone, I think she has a point here. So let me just kind of just give you like my final thoughts on this entire situation. I think that Janelle Evans has a good point because to me personally, if you are my friend and mind you, I don't know if, you know, Kale had a private conversation with Lindsay saying, hey, I'm going to go ahead and share these articles. I'm not too sure. So I'm not going to like, you know, speak too much on it. But I will say if someone is my friend and I see them sharing articles about my family that is could potentially be rumors or false and not true, then I don't know. I feel like I would be upset because I'm like, well, well, if you're my friend, then why are you sharing articles about my family behind my back? So yeah, Janelle does have a point there. Like, you know, oh, how, oh, you're really a supportive friend, but yet you're sharing articles of her family and of the drama and of the rumors it's, it's just a little bit weird you know so i think that a lot of people also chimed in on the situation and said that you know kale we have to give you the side eye a little bit because you are saying that you're supporting lindsay and you only care about lindsay and stuff like that but then you're sharing stuff about her family so unless lindsay herself just honestly doesn't care about her family like that then maybe it's okay. Like I said, maybe they had a private conversation to where it was okay, but I guess people can perceive that Kale was actually being a little bit two-faced, which we can all speculate on. I'm not too sure. I mean, even Lindsay herself said she doesn't want anything to do with her family. She wants to distance herself. So maybe Kale thought it was appropriate to share those articles. So that is the entire drama with, you know, Janelle Evans trying to be petty, trying to start drama online you know with kale and stuff like that and in regards to lindsay i hope this situation definitely just gets some sort of justice and it gets rectified because this is family you know th these aren't friends these aren't anything like that th this is family so without family i mean what do you truly have and you know in this world so the fact that her father todd thinks that she is the source to who ratted them out to the police is kind of sketchy to me and then even I don't know even if she did say something to the police I guess they can look at her like a traitor but maybe she didn't want to get involved or maybe she didn't want to get attached to whatever criminal activity her family was doing so if she did you know tell the police on her family maybe that is a possible reason but who's to say maybe the police just found out through someone else about their fraud and then at the same time it's like if you don't want to do the time then do not do the crime you know, Julie and Todd themselves, they did the crime. They're the one doing conspiracy and wiretap and fraud, and they're doing all of this illegal stuff. So it's no fault but them, or excuse me, but theirs. It's only their fault. So don't point fingers and don't blame people. It's your fault. You made that bad decision and you know, there's consequences to that. So they definitely have to face the judge one way or another. It's nothing that Lindsay did wrong to my knowledge. What do you all think about Kale speaking out in regards to her friend? What do you all think about Janelle Evans trying to chime in? And what do you all think about this entire situation with the Chrisley family? So that is the news, everyone. Thank you all so much for tuning in. It's Yasmin Woodland, and until next time, see ya.